Okay, so thanks for stopping by again. All right, so today we're going to talk a little bit more about building your production, okay? What you're doing is turning your knowledge into power, okay? Now, I got these from the Mike Ferry system, and this is a great uh, set of ideas that Mike shared with me that I thought would be powerful for you. So the first thing Mike says, number one, okay, remember that real estate, okay, real estate is a business, and it must be treated that way. Okay? Real estate is a business, and it's got to be treated that way. Okay? Only make sound business decisions. Okay? When you're trying to figure out who to work with or who to talk to, <coughs> pardon me, sorry. Remember that it's a business and that you as a business owner need to decide who you're going to deal with, okay, and make every business you do, every, every decision you make as a business person would, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Number two, concentrate daily on the four major priorities, okay? So concentrate daily on the four major priorities. All right? And what are they? Well, okay, number one, A, okay, prospecting. You've got to find new business every day. All right. If you don't find new business every day, you're out of business. <coughs> oh, holy cow. Excuse me. B. Great day. Uh, lead follow up. OK. Lead follow up. Now, these people that you have found, OK, from your prospecting have raised their hand in one form or another and said, hey, yeah, I'm interested in selling or buying. <clears throat> Please give me a call. Here's my number. <clears throat> And so you got to follow up with them. The person who follows up with them is the one who's going to get the business. Most of the sales are made after the fourth, fifth, sixth contact. Okay. They're not made on the first time you've talked to them. So if they told you, no, no, that's okay. We don't want to do anything. And you just give up. Okay. Then that's not going to work for you. But if they said, yeah, we want to do something, but we want to wait a week or two. Okay. Well then don't just give up. Ah, oh, hell, let me go find somebody new. Work on it. Okay. Follow up with these people. Call them back in a couple days. Hey, how's it going? Wanted to see if we might be able to help you. Okay. Third, C, listing presentations. Okay. If you want to get paid, you've got to be in front of people every day. Okay. There's just no two ways about it. Unless people are lining up at your door to give you money. Okay. You have got to go out to them and meet them. All right. And then D, <clears throat> negotiations. That's where you get paid. You've got to get properties under contract, okay? Buyers and sellers need to have their homes sold. You need to get them under contract, and you need to start working with them to get a good price that they want, okay? Next. Third, develop a three-hour-a-day uh, practice. Pra prospecting habit okay develop a three hour a day prospecting habit okay in the next 90 days all right if you go ahead and you make it a goal that you're going to go ahead and prospect at least three hours a day five days a week either you through door knocking or on the phone or you know, uh, you know, some other form of, uh, for, of prospecting and you spend three hours a day doing that. Okay. So if you specialize in expireds for sale by owners, um, past clients, um, just that just sold, you know, around your listings and sales. Okay. If you develop that habit 90 days from now, you're going to find that you're going to be so busy. You will know, you won't even know what to do with yourself. Okay. There is nothing that prospecting can't fix. If you're having a low month in terms of money, prospecting will fix that. If you have very few sales and very few listings, prospecting will fix that. Your wife is mad at you because you know, you're not bringing in any money. Prospecting will solve that for you. Your kids are having trouble in school. Okay. Prospecting will solve that for you too. You can afford to take them out and put them in a private school. Somebody can put up with them. I don't know. I'm just teasing. Okay. Number four. <laughs> okay. Number four, dramatically, shorten the length of your listing presentation okay dramatically shorten it
And the question, it, it's almost counterintuitive. I mean, it's almost counterintuitive. When you start thinking about it, you start thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute. If I shorten the amount of things I say to these people, doesn't it mean that it's less likely that they'll want to list with me? No, absolutely not. And the reason why is very simple. You see, they think, believe it or not, they think that you can actually sell a home, okay, until you show up. And when you start talking, all right, and show what an idiot you are, that's when they stop thinking that you can sell. And they start questioning in their minds if this is really the right idea or not. Because you're thinking, you're saying, well, you know, uh, we could do this or we could do that. Uh, maybe I don't know about the price. You know, look, the less you say, the better, okay? Floyd Wickman used to have a great joke that I really liked. He said, look, he said that... Uh, Samson killed a thousand Philistines with the jawbone of an ass, okay? And salesmen have killed an equal number of sales with the same weapon, the jawbone of an ass, okay? You talk too much. Cut it down, don't say so much, get straight to the point, and you'll find your listing presentation ratio for success goes way up real fast, okay? Number five. <clears throat> Regarding working with buyers, okay, when you're working with buyers, only show property, what did you say, buyers, okay, only show property to the following people. A, all right, sellers who want to buy. That makes sense. I mean, they got their home on the market with you. They want to buy some property. Then that will go ahead and get them motivated to sell their home at a good price. It's going to cause it to actually sell, all right? B, all right? motivated, uh, I'm sorry, uh, past clients, all right? So people that you've worked with in the, pa in the past, okay, that you know are golden, okay? You've got a good relationship with them, you got a good rapport with them, you know what they're looking for, they're feeling comfortable with you, they'll tell you what they feel, they're not gonna go behind your back and stab you in the back with somebody else, they're gonna deal with you and you alone, okay? That's a great client to work with. And C, okay, motivated, highly qualified direct referrals, okay? Motivated, highly qualified referrals. So if you get, if you get a referral from another agent in another city or here in town or wherever, however you get that person, and they are motivated, meaning that they have that their number one goal in their life right now is to buy a house. That's what motivated means, okay? That they're motivated means I want to buy a home, I want to buy it right now, I don't want to wait, I want to get this done and get it moving because I got something I got to do. That's motivation, okay? That's the kind of person you want to work with. You don't want to work for, you know, Joe Blow who's out there thinking, well, gee whiz, it'd be nice if I could get, you know, a four bedroom, two bath house you know, with a pool for $75,000, okay, in the north side of town, something that's completely unrealistic, all right? You're wasting your time, okay? That guy who needs to move and needs to move now, who's qualified, you've sent him to the lender, they're playing by the rules, they go ahead, they do what you're telling them to do, you know that they've got the money or they're pre-qualified and they're motivated, that's the kind of guy you want to work with. So those are the top five that Mike uh, had said. There's some others that I'll be going through here soon, but that'll be good enough for today's video. You have a wonderful day. Make it a powerful selling day. We'll look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.